Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. We are picking up in the style series and creating our capsule wardrobe plan. If you've been joining with me on the style series, we've kind of been going through step-by-step -step process of creating a capsule wardrobe that functions for your lifestyle and that you look great in and that you love. Okay, so let's get started. Now that you have your narrowed down pieces from last week, and these are just items that you love that function for you, I want you to take those items and spread them out all over your bed. You should be near a full length mirror if you have one and great lighting. And you're gonna take some time, maybe set aside an afternoon and you're going to be piecing together these items that are left and creating as many outfits as you can, many different combinations, combinations you may not have even tried before. And it will be really helpful for you to have close by your handouts, your worksheets that I gave you in our first lesson because you can refer to that to help you know what to focus on, what sort of outfits should you be focusing on as you're putting together different outfits and pieces. So if you recall the triangle that we made, this is my triangle to kind of show me where, where I'm spending my time, what my lifestyle looks like. And so as I'm putting together outfits, I need to be focusing on these different categories. So casual is my number one when I'm in stay at home mom mode. There is a certain time of the year that I do work part time, I guess you could call it part time, and I'm doing speaking engagements and teaching. And so I almost have a separate wardrobe for that. And when that season comes around, which is right around the corner for me, but when I'm in stay at home mom mode, Casual is my first, my top one. Recreational Sporty is the second one, so that's like active wear. And then Dressy Trendy Casual is my third, so that's like, you know, coffee dates or dates with the husband or going out. And then Dressy is 17%. So as I'm putting together outfit ideas, I should be concentrating in these top areas to, um, to help me, you know, just make sure that my wardrobe is in balance with my lifestyle and when you are looking at your wardrobe and you're piecing together things you may find that your wardrobe is just out of step with your actual lifestyle you may find that you have too many of a type of clothing but not enough of another so this is a really important part of the whole capsule wardrobe process is finding out what you have and seeing what you need so as you're putting together these different outfits as many as you can it will show you sort of what you're lacking and how you can fill in the gaps. So when you're trying on your outfits and you come up with an outfit that you really love, don't forget to snap a picture of that outfit. We think that we'll remember these combinations that we put together, but it can really uh, escape our memory and then we find ourselves back to that state where we figure we have nothing to wear in our closets. So go ahead and snap those pictures. Stylists do this all the time. They'll put together uh, different outfits for their clients and then they capture it with a picture and then have it for reference so you can create a folder on your phone of a different outfit ideas according to perhaps the occasions or the dress codes that is also a part of your handout if we did this whole dress code um, exercise and then we defined those dress codes so if this you you were not into the first uh, video I'll have that linked in the cards and below for you to check out and get these handouts. It'll be very helpful for this step. And um, I have a really neat app that I want to, to share with you and I don't get anything from sharing this app with you, but it's something that I think can really be helpful with this step and beyond. And I'll have the link for this app below and you can check that out on your own. But basically it's an app that helps you organize your closet. You can take pictures of your actual items your pieces upload it to your app you can take the picture on your phone import it into the app and it will help you just sort of organize your outfits and your closet even will give you some outfit ideas helps you to log those outfits there's a lot of great perks to this app so and it's only a couple of dollars so I will have all that information below there's another resource that I've been dying to share with you and it's called polyvore.com. So when you're on Pinterest and you see these really cute layouts and spreads of outfits and things, a lot of them are created using this tool called Polyvore. I think that's how you say it. But basically it is a website and they now created an app that has a catalog of tons and tons of clothing items. And you can use this free soft online software or app to create looks using clothing from their catalog and also clothing that you own. You can upload your own pictures, similar to the app that I mentioned, 
and you can uh, put together outfit ideas. So I think it is a really good idea, though it does take some time, to catalog all of your clothing using Polyvore or the app that I recommended. So basically you're going to take a picture of your clothing on a sheet or something that is a totally different color than the clothing item. And then once you take a picture of every single clothing item, or you can opt out of items that could be easily found in the catalog that are similar. So maybe it's your jeans, you don't have to catalog that because you can probably find something similar on polyvore.com that you can just put in place of your actual jeans. Same with like blue jean jackets or white t-shirts or things like that. But the, anything that's unique, that has a unique pattern that you can't really find a lookalike on Polyvore, take picture of that on that contrasting background. You upload it to the website and then it will remove the background. And so once you get all of those pieces cataloged and uploaded to the website, you can use them to craft outfits there on the website. And it just, for me, that really helps because sometimes when I mix and matching pieces, you know, physically, um, I limit myself to what, you know, I, I typically go toward. But once it's all cataloged and on a screen, it's kind of like putting together a puzzle. You can see, oh, this kind of works with this and you can mix and match all of those. And even if you create a bunch of outfits on the website, you can uh, save this uh, image that you make, this collage that you make, and you can even print it out and you can paste it in your closet to show you your out outfit options. Another neat thing about using this resource that I'm sharing with you that's absolutely free and so much fun to play with is that you can easily add an item to your wardrobe catalog from the Polyvore catalog. And so let's say that you're thinking a good piece to add to your wardrobe would be a pencil skirt. You can search through the Polyvore catalog, find a pencil skirt and add it to your wardrobe and play around with it with your pieces that you own and see like, yeah, this would be a really great staple in my wardrobe and it gives me so many different options. So you can do that with several different pieces that you're thinking might be nice for your wardrobe. Something else that I want to recommend through this process is that you get some outfit inspiration. And what I want to uh, encourage you to do is to not look up fall outfit ideas necessarily. I mean, you can, but not for this exercise. I would look up, so let's say that you have a blue jean jacket. I would look up how to style a blue jean jacket or blue jean jacket ideas, outfit ideas. And once you do that on Pinterest, um, you'll see all different kinds of ideas using a piece you already own. And so it can give you ideas for pieces that you have and also pieces that you're thinking about adding to your wardrobe. Something else that I want to share with you is that when I'm putting together my wardrobes, I have it split into two seasons. My summer and spring wardrobe and then my winter and fall wardrobe because many of the pieces in each of these seasons can can go easily within those seasons. It's difficult sometimes, you know, to do a full year capsule wardrobe. You know what I mean? So just having the seasonal wardrobes, seasonal as in, you know, for weather, considering weather, but also for the kind of events that are in those seasons. So that really helps me. So in this video, you'll see that I'm showing you my fall winter capsule wardrobe in the examples that I'm using. And that just helps to keep it really easy and simple. So as you're putting together different outfits physically with your items from your bed or even on Polyvore, you can be making notes in your worksheets for outfit inspiration and writing down different pieces that you think would be useful for just completing your wardrobe. And as you're filling in the gaps of your capsule wardrobe, Keep in mind those branding colors, those story colors that we talked about in my color video on finding the best colors for you and see how you can incorporate those colors into your wardrobe, either using uh, pieces that you need to acquire to complete and round out your wardrobe or with accessories like scarves and jewelry and different things like that. So that would be a fun way to bring in those branding colors that tell your story and the message you want to convey to others. Another thing that happens when you are putting together these outfits is that you may find a combination, maybe it's a button-up blouse with a sweater, and you may think, oh, this piece 
uh, I would think would make this outfit look awesome. So that could be, you know, a certain kind of pant or a certain kind of skirt or maybe uh, boots or, you know, something like that. So you can make note of something that would just make that outfit awesome. Like it's almost there, but this one item would just make it great. And through this whole process, you may find that there's just one item that's not fitting in with your capsule wardrobe at all. It fits you well, you enjoy it and it's in your colors but it's just not coordinating again with anything else you have two options for this one you can purchase something to coordinate with that item but still that item is limited just to the thing that you purchase or you can consider letting it go either selling it or giving it away so now after going through this entire process whether you decided to lay all your clothes out on your bed and try on physically your different outfits or you decided to catalog your pieces and upload them to an app or to the website that i recommended now that you've done that i think you probably have a good picture you will probably have a really great picture of what you currently have and also what you need to acquire to get your wardrobe more functional and in balance with your lifestyle and meeting your needs and creating the style that you love. So after this whole process, you should have a healthy list of things you need to acquire to complete your capsule wardrobe. And I do hope this video was helpful in helping you maximize the pieces that you have and show you the things that you need to acquire to complete this this capsule wardrobe that will really function for you. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate an encouraging thumbs up just so that I know that it was helpful for you and you may like to see more content like this. And then you can become YouTube friends with me and hit that subscribe button and see what I have coming up next. And what I do have coming up next, of course, is that shopping video with some shopping tips for you as you try to fill in the gaps of your capsule wardrobe and get it completed. And then if you'd like some more support, you can reach out to me through the Facebook group that I have, Style School with Abby, and that link is below. And I'd love to get connected with you over there if you have questions, you want to share pictures of what you've got going on. And there's some really lovely folks over there you can connect with who are also in the process of trying to create a functioning, beautiful capsule wardrobe. I look forward to seeing you next week in the next video as we get to the fun part of shopping and completing the wardrobe. Bye!